recently on um, Talk Graphics, Gary um, posted a, an image, a photograph, or two joined photographs to be exact. Um, and I don't know if I can just whip up here to see the original. That's right, where he'd um, taken a photograph of his food, taken a photograph earlier on of his beer. Um, but he'd drunk a lot of the beer by the time his food arrived. Uh, so what he did was you know, convert it and change that. So the fuller beer was in the photograph rather than the half pint, the bit of half drunk beer. Um, why he uh, takes photographs of his food uh, and his drink is very sad. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, later in the thread, in, in the thread. Um, Ed S just asked how it was done and um, could, is there a tutorial for it and Gary did point him to a tutorial um, but the tutorial just showed you how to use the shape of the tool to cut out the shape and there's a bit more of a complication in the one that Gary did which I thought might be worth just running through okay so here's Gary's original photograph with his half drunk pint of beer, not even a pint by the looks of it, half pint. Um, and what he wanted to do was change the, the beer um, to a fuller pint. Um, so I used a Guinness one, I found a pint, a pint of Guinness and replaced that, that half empty one with that one. So this is how to go about it. So that's the first target that we've got to do is we want to replace that half empty glass there that's uh, highlighted in that purple. Um, so the first thing I did was go onto Google and do an image search for a pint of Guinness um, which I was going to replace the half lager with. Um, I resized it here and that's the image I did, I replaced. Um, then using the shape editor tool I just drew some lines around the Guinness here straight lines I would use the shape editor tool other people prefer the pen tool but most people I find use the shape editor tool and then you can just move it around obviously you're going to have to zoom in and I don't normally work with that four point line thickness four pixel line thickness um, just move it around like this and dragging it until it slowly leaves that shape there um, and that's my uh, final finished um, cut out section cut out shape and um, you can see all the nodes and everything there I would put that down to 0.5 and I don't know if you'll be able to see it You can now see that that's the finished cut out shape that I want. Um, obviously, it would, I don't want it four points. It doesn't matter for the cut out shape what it is, but for the actual, um, when you're moving it around and making sure that it actually cuts cleanly around the shape and gets around as close as possible to the edge, then it's best to use a smaller uh, line width. Just go back to the previous zoom. And then all you do then is select those two. Sorry, you've got to select the Guinness as well. Select those two. Arrange, combine shapes, intersect shapes. And that leaves you with a nicely cut out point of Guinness. Put that over the front there. You can see it's got no other edging. I much prefer that way of cutting out than using mask tools and everything else. So I can just hide some of these again there. So there's the intersected shape. Uh, and what I want to do is move that across to this glass here. So there I have moved it. Not only have I moved it, but because um, the angle of that glass there at the top is not quite the same there, I'll try to drag it down a bit. Um, and skew it a bit to give it a bit more of an angle than it was. Um, 
but for all intents and purposes uh, that, that's good enough um, so the next thing we need to do is to look at the overlaps if you look at the original um, where this pint of half pint of beer is half glass of beer is uh, it has some chips French fries, whatever you want to call them, hanging over the edge of this, in front of this glass. It also has the tray, that arc of the sandwich, and this um, thing that you apparently put in sandwiches to poke you in the eye in the States, um, in, also in front of the glass. Um, so, how do you do a go about that? Um, what we need to do is to I'll just elongate these, make them a bit longer. Uh, I've cloned that background image again now, um, and obviously it's still got it hasn't got the point of Guinness in it, it's still got the original Guinness in it, um, and then I can go um, select that, select that, go arrange, combine shapes. Slice, similarly, arrange, combine shapes, slice, and although you don't actually see anything, when I move that aside, um, you can see that um, if I just take that background image off for a minute, all we're left with is these two um, parts of the picture that we want overlapping with the front. So I'll just delete that picture there that we don't want. And there they are, those two shapes there. Um, if I then put the um, original picture back on and with my uh, point of Guinness in there, you can see that um, that overlaps that and that overlaps that. So I can undo that, undo that. So obviously it's still not overlapping properly. Um, what we need is this left hand bit with the chips in it. Uh, this bit of the tray and the sandwich and the stick still in it, but we don't want this back a bit of the background in it. So what we then do is we create cutout lines. So I've gone down here. And if I'll take the background out again for a minute. You can see that I've gone round, taking that section. Let me just zoom in so you can see for a bit better. You can see that just creating a line around where I wanted to go, I'll put that line to, um, point, I don't know if you'll see it on that, point 0.5 just so you can see it, I'll zoom up, similarly if I zoom into this one, I want this part of the plate, that part of the stick, that bit of the sandwich and that bit of the tray left in, point 0.5 so you can see it, zoom, um, so I can then go click and click on that, click on those two shapes, arrange, combine shapes, slice. I don't want this bit here. I can delete that. I don't know what that's doing there. Uh, I could delete that. Click on that one. Click on that. Range, combine shape, slice. I don't want this piece of the glass. Let me just click on that. That's just another layer. I don't want that. Click on that. Now, if I put my original image back in, um, and my um, Guinness glass in, you can now see that you've got the whole picture that you required. You've got the Guinness has replaced the glass that was in there. You have these um, this bucket of chips, French flies, which are in front of the new glass, as is the tray and the uh, sandwich and stick. Uh, anyway, that's Sig, that's how I go about it. Um, hope that helped anybody. Cheers, all the best, and goodbye.